All right, back at the Tesla Gigafactory under construction. The past two videos was just music over the drone footage I took. But today we're going to talk a little bit about this project and some of the other projects that Elon Musk is up to, along with how it may relate to 3D printed construction. Unfortunately, I crashed my drone during this video. I included that footage for you, so you'll be able to see what happened. I specifically went around sunset so that we could capture this footage during the golden hour. It's really cool to see this enormous building under development. They have over a dozen different cranes, and I can't imagine how many people are on the payroll. You may be looking at this project and thinking, hey Jared, what does this have to do with 3D printed construction? What does this even have to do with automated construction? More on that in a bit. Yeah, so as you can see, I was trying to get this really cool low shot where you could see the light through the building. Then I hit the tree and the drone became destabilized. For a second, it restabilized itself, but in my attempt to go straight up from there, I hit another branch and it fell back to the ground. Luckily, the tree was right next to the highway and I was able to retrieve the drone. I have insurance on it, but I didn't even need to use that. When I retrieved the drone, the camera was still working and all of the propellers were in good shape. The only damage that occurred is a slight chip on the hinge of the flap that holds the battery in place. I was able to get the drone back up in the air just before the sunset. So on this channel, the focus has always been on construction automation, mostly 3D printed construction. Elon Musk is such a notable figure in the technology and automation world that it's almost concerning that he hasn't dipped his toes into the 3D printed construction world. Many of the companies I've featured also have legs focusing on construction for space. Icon, Apis Core, among others, all pursue projects with NASA in pursuit of building on other worlds, along with Relativity Space 3D printing their rockets. Everybody knows Elon Musk loves Mars, so why hasn't he gotten involved yet? Well, when it comes to living on Mars, the primary issue is radiation. The reason 3D printing is so appealing for Mars is it doesn't require people to be on the surface of the planet exposing themselves to harmful radiation while their structures are being built. Many people don't like the idea of living underground, but watching Elon Musk with the Boring Company, it seems like this is the most realistic situation, certainly for the first decades. Now, why isn't Elon using 3D printing for construction? The answer to this is simple. It's just not cost effective for Elon to 3D print this massive gigafactory. It needs to use massive steel construction. In addition to that, with all the different experiments and innovative technologies Elon's working on, he doesn't have time to deal with the experimental process of 3D printing a building. The 3D printed construction industry right now is very much where Tesla was when it created the first Roadster. The Roadster didn't sell because it was cheap. It didn't even sell because it was the best performance car for the value. It sold because it was unique. People liked the idea of having something that didn't exist before. People wanted to switch from gasoline to electrical cars. Not everybody, but enough people to make a market. 3D printed houses are currently in the same stage here in the United States. There have been a few built, the concept has been proven, and as the super early adopters make way for some regular early adopters, the world is beginning to hear about automation and construction more and more frequently. Assuming my luck hasn't been depleted from that non-fatal drone crash, hopefully we'll see Elon implementing some automation in the construction of buildings either here or on other planets someday in our future.